Belvedere Estate focuses on the lives of the laborers on the Belvedere Plantation in St. Andrews. It also speaks of Hurricane Janet, one of the most memorable hurricanes that affected the lives of many Grenadians in 1955. The book took approximately 50 years of writing and research to complete and will see two launches this week. The first at T. Marshall House on H.A. Blaze Street at 5 p.m. on Thursday, September 22nd and the second on Friday, September 23rd at the Guelph Public Library. Out of the book, Herman Hall spoke on his motivation and inspiration to publish Belvedere Estate. I was born in Belvedere Estate. Belvedere Estate, or the former Belvedere Estate, is a very historic estate. It was the estate that was owned by Julian Ferro. It was the headquarters of the Ferron's Rebellion of 1795. Later, in the 20th century, Belvedere Estate was the largest nutmeg estate in the world. I thought I owe it to Grenadians of today and Grenadians of tomorrow a little bit of the oral history. He says the principal dedication of this book is to its laborers. He also encourages young people to participate and know their history. Although it is dedicated to Julian Ferro, it's the history of Julian Ferro, but it is a book really dedicated to the laborers of Belvedere Estate of the 1950s. I want to believe that it is one of the few books ever written and dedicated to the laborers of an estate. The book really tries to tell today's generation and future generation of what life was like on growing up in colonial Grenada on estates in Grenada. The book also informs on the rebellion of Julian Fedon and gives an account of his later influences. I am Renee Toussaint for GBN News.